Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for watching. It's me again, Teacher Glenn. I'm here right now at our office since um, we're experiencing power outage at home. So I had to go to work today and I'll be teaching another student here. So just keep watching. I'll be having class in about two minutes. Get everything prepared. Even here at the office, it's where they're using the generator, so it's really good that we have one. But at home, I don't have a generator. I plan on getting one. here in the Philippines it's always frequent when, when there is a power interruption okay so I'll be one minute left everything's good Let's enter class. All right, hello again, back. Can you see and hear me? All right, I had to change classroom because the other classroom was kind of dark. And it's still, we don't have electricity, so we're using a generator. Yes. Okay, so we will continue with statues in the sand. All right, so let's review the words again. Next word. Next word. Liquid, let's just say liquid. It could be water, alcohol, liquid. Yes, for example, like this one I have in my hand. See? So I will spray. There, the fine mist. And this, can you guess what's inside this bottle? No, no, I don't need mosquito spray. It's alcohol. <laughs> I don't use mosquito sprays. There are no mosquitoes here. <laughs> okay, next word. Shut, shutting. Confining. In a enclosure, and last word, ha. 
Have you carved anything yet with a knife or with a carving tool? Oh, so it just it's dried up. So it's, oh, okay. Good. Uh, what kind of uh, what kind of sculpture did you make out of clay? Oh, it's not a sculpture that you made? What did you make? An apple. Oh, <laughs> so you had to make it round. Okay. All right, so we're going to do this. Do you have any questions with these words? You sure you can answer these again perfectly? Okay, let's do it again. Number one. Naked. Incandescent. Incandescent. Yes, perfect. Incandescent. Number two. It's a person, it's a noun. Yeah, sculptor. Perfect. Number three. Carved. Yes, that's past tense. It's past participle, so it's using had. The word had been carved. Number four. Perfect. Wow. Okay. And the last one. Addition. Two, two general. Yes. Do you finally understand? Yes, all right, so perfect, you got it. You see the importance of reviewing? So when you review, we get things right. You finally understand, right? Yeah, so always review. Even though we make mistakes the first time, I bet the second time it will be much less. And then if you review again until you get it perfect. That's how you practice English. You keep reviewing. It also goes the same with math, uh, Chinese, art, science, even sports activities. If you practice and practice and practice, you improve. You get better. Okay, back. Okay. All right, since we did some reading of this, uh, which part did we stop? We already answered this. Oh, here we go. You have any questions with these since you answered them perfectly? There was no problem with these, right? Okay. Okay, so let's go to number one. How are all sand sculptors the same. They all like carving. Yeah, they all like carving. They do carvings. How are they different? How are sculptors different from each other? Well, they have different art, right? They do different things. They make different things out of their imagination. And some sculptors are not good at sand art, right? Some are good at wood, carving wood, carving stone. Some are good at making pottery. Uh, some sculptors are good at clay, mud, 
It could be different materials that they use. So they're not the same. For example, if I'm a sculpture, I'll be more interested in, in a cement or stone because they last a long time. Because I want my art to last a long time. Some sculptures just want sand. I want it at the beach. I don't care after one year it breaks down or after one week. You see? Because then I do it all over again. I'll just make another one. So we are different in many ways. So what clues from the text help you to know about people about sculptors who are different and the same? Do you know? Let's go back to the text so I can show you. Here, here is another one about the difference of sculptors. Let's read. You see? So they do different art. But the material is the same. It's all about sand. There's another. It's all hard work, right? So the same thing about sculptures, what they do is they're the same. It's all about hard work. It's not easy to make statues that can be taller than them. And you need a lot of materials to do it. So here is one. You have to be skilled to do it. You have to be creative. What else? Where is the other one that I saw about materials that they use? Mm, that's it. Okay. All right. So number two. Let's read number two. Art. Unusual. Would you use? Would you use in your artwork? Yeah, so what type of materials would you use in your artwork? Not really about sculptors, it could be painters, it could be people who like drawings, sketchers, people who make art with paper people who make masks, anything. So what would you use to make your artwork? You would use like is easiest thing like paper, colored paper. Yeah, that's easy. All you have to do is just cut them, right? Fold fold, cut, even glue. You can glue those, make patterns, make shapes. Yes. Okay, number three. Read the question. Oh, I'll read the one. I'll read this for you. What would you ask if you met a famous artist or a sand sculptor? What would you do or what would you ask? Yes, you would ask them, uh, can you teach me, can you tell me what tools you've done or uh, used to make your art? Yes, very good. You ask them those kind of questions. I even ask painters, uh, how did you mix that kind of color? How do you get that texture? 
which kind of paintbrush do you use? You see, we ask questions so you can learn from them. They will tell you. They will tell you. Perfect, perfect job. Let's give you two for that. Fantastic. Number four, works of art are different around the world. How do they reflect a nation's culture? For example, Chinese uses uh, dragons, right? Like you see on your New Year's festival, you see a dragon dance. So what they're holding is a piece of art that they use, right? In Japan, no, it's lion, lion dance, the lion. In Japan, they use a dragon. In China, it's a lion, right? Am I correct? Yes. See, so they're, they're different. We would know, oh, this is Japanese art. Oh, this one, this is Chinese art. Oh, this one, this is American, British, and so on and so on. So I'll show you a picture of different art around the world. Different art from around the world. I want you to guess. I'll show you a picture. I want you to guess what kind of art this is from, okay? Okay, so let me try to make something more easy for you. So, for example, this artwork, it's a, it's a painting. Can you guess where this artwork is from? Japan, you are correct. How did you know it's from Japan? Ah, from the words. You see, Sometimes, we, if we are just looking at paintings or sculptures, we look at the words, right, that represent the culture. Oh, this is Japanese art. Oh, this one is made from, China, from a Chinese uh, artist because his handwriting is in Chinese writings, right? Yes. Okay, so there are a lot. There are a lot from Spain, France, let me see if I can get another one. Maybe see if you can guess. Uh, do you have paintings in your house? Okay, you know that painting? The Mona Lisa. That painting is the Mona Lisa. And you know what country she's from? Or which, uh, where the painting came from? Ah, you forgot it. It was painted by the famous Leonardo da Vinci. He is from France. You heard about that? Yes, okay, it's all from France. I think so, wait. Is it France or Italy? I think it's, uh, I think it's France. I'm not sure. If I look at the information here, let's see. Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, so Leonardo da Vinci is an Italian artist. He's from Italy. So I think this is Italian. Yes, Italian. Not France, but Italian. 
<laughs> I also have to learn about history. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Ah, do you have any paintings or art that you like? What is your favorite type of art? Made by someone else. Cartoons? It can be cartoons. None? But cartoons is art. Do you watch cartoons? Oh, you don't like cartoons? Okay. <laughs> So you're the serious type of person. All right, so fantastic work. Let's go now to our comprehension skill. Identify main idea and details. So let's read this. Yeah, so use text evidence. Let's read this. So what is the main idea? Sand sculptors ters, can carve sand to different shapes. And what are the key details? Let's read each one. These are very good sculptors. So your turn, I want you to read this one. Restrict. Process. <laughs> yes, okay. All right, so what is the main idea? Painting is the art of splashing color with the help of brush brushes. Yes. So give me the first key detail. Second key detail, creativity, okay, well, no, that's just there, painting is all about creativity, the last key detail, there, so art is a, is an ever-growing process, right? Yeah, so art is an ever-growing process. That'll be that last key detail. Okay, so you get the idea on finding out the main idea and the key details? So you understand now? Okay, very good. All right. We still have two more minutes. So, hmm, 
since we finished the lesson, let's go and have fun. Let's go to our blackboard. I want you to choose a number. Can you choose a number for me? One to six? Choose a number from one to six. No, just only one, just one number. Okay, so yours is five, I'll be six. I'm bad luck. You go ahead and turn the wheel. Press start. Press start again. Who's six? I'm first. Okay, so I go first. Do you know this game? Since I go first, I'll be the X. Okay, so it looks like I win. So going diagonal, going straight is two points. Having an L is one point. So I have three points. Now it's your turn. You start first. You sure? I'll let you in. Looks like I'm going to win if you make a wrong move. Okay, so you have three points too. It's three. Oh no, plus two for plus one, so that's four, because I get an L. You have an L and a straight, so that's three, so it's four, three. Choose a number. Minus three. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, you're gonna win. It's your lucky day. 